Hello everyone, my name is Domino now, and this is Dark Souls. Dark Souls 1, particularly, because there's three now. Male, class, blah, blah, blah. Why am I playing this? This game's old. Yes it is, but it's also really good. I like this game a lot. I wanted to start doing videos. I started doing videos with the game that I really like. Uh, body type, yip, 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 yip. tiny head, why not? Face, that one. Hair, ponytail, I guess. Uh, my hair is sort of that. Why not? Okay. But um, we are skipping this because let's face it, it's going to take ages. You already know how it goes. Yes, indeed. Do it. Do the indeed. Yes, indeed. See, I knew the that. Dark sign brands the undead. It does. You're branded. Dio branded. And in this land... Five points for anyone who gets that reference. The undead are corralled and led to the north. They couldn't figure out what to do with the undead, so they stuck them all in a big prison. Where they are locked away okay. to await the end of the world. That's quite a while, really, when you think about it. Although also... Maybe not, if you know anything about Dark Souls. This is your fate. Game over. Credits roll. Hideous rat. Try and ignore those bugs all moving in uniform. Since they're just a texture. <laughs> yes, it's me. The player character. Oh. That guy's bum is glowing. Hello. Nothing? Okay, bye. I am drawn to this strange glowing miasma. The cell key. Uh, also, disclaimer, I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard, so if it's... The camera control is a little janky without the subtleties of this stick. So, bear in mind that that's why. Poke, 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 poke. Poke. You have been poked to death, sir. 20 souls. That's more than no souls. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Got a rush, but I'll make up. Uh, okay. This will not be the most flawless run in the world. It will also not be a blind run. I have beaten this game multiple times. Cut to every time I fuck up in this series. Play the game over time. <laughs> but no, I have played the game. I have beaten the game. I know what to do in the grand scope of the game. And I know a bit about the lore and some... ...directed detail kind of things. A small amount. If you're really interested in the lore of Dark Souls, you will not find the best retelling of it here. I highly recommend Vati Vidya or Epic Name Bro or Sunlight Blade for that kind of stuff. I think all of them are lore channels. Vati Vidya at least definitely is. Alright, so up there you may have noticed that there's a thing. Yeah, hey look, there he is. Did you know you could see him that early? Probably. Hey guy, come down. Thank you. And since I'm not running now, Black firebomb gift cool guy build. I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> you can kill him the first time you meet him if you're super cool. You can punch him to death, or if you take the black firebombs as your starting gift, you can kill him with those. And doing that will drop you his weapon, the Demon's Great Hammer, which is fairly good. It's a big, heavy strength weapon. As you might be inclined to know. Bye! Walked past the... No, no. No, because it's next to the boulder. Oh. Longsword. I have achieved a weapon that's not awful. ba doo ba doo ba doo doo Bog. Bog. You have been poked pretty bad. Okay. Yeah, okay. Backstep, you're rolling. Backstep. 
I don't think I've ever used the bag step in an actual fight. I always just roll. Boulder, go. Ow. Somehow I thought that wouldn't hit me. Figures, really. Oh, Sorry, I got distracted you. by my timer. You're not hollow. Hey, I it's you, lose. guy who I'm threw the corpse at me. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. You are yes. both under. So it's a commonly held conception that the reason he was here a second ago giving us the key and the reason he's here now is because he got blatted through that roof by the big guy. Maybe he did. Maybe he just tripped and fell and broke both of his legs. I don't know. I have failed in my mission. You sure have. You can keep the torch lit. Maybe I can. In my family. Is that? Who undead are chosen. And chosen? From the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ancient lords. Fate of the undead, thou shalt know. Well, okay, know. so. And I can die with hope in my heart. Can you? Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An ah, yes, thing. delicious Estus. Delicious oh. sunny delight. Oh, Grossly and incandescent. Now I must Thanks, be Oscar. I would hate to harm you after death. And thank you. Okay. Bye, Oscar. His name is Oscar, if you didn't know. And now he's dead. Dead, like that guy, and just like that guy, he will get up later. Did I get that archer? I'm not 100 sure. Nope. Legendary poke. How did it hit that guy and not this one? That's just weird. Archer this, nerd. Hello, swordsman. Stab. You're still alive. You're not alive. Backstabs pretty much rule Dark Souls 1. And to a lesser extent Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 3, I think they fixed that quite a bit. Plunge. Take the plunge, fight the demon, hit the monster. Poke, poke. The circle strafe is your sort of go-to for basically any monster in Dark Souls, but it works especially well on ones who are very large. Even larger than this is preferable because you can just walk straight through that hitbox. Yay! Uh, which way am I going? Is it this way? Or... Yes. So that guy's dead. And we can leave the Undead Asylum. Into this nothing space. Where we will now plunge off of the side and die. Game over. Credits roll. Fantastic series. It really does look like that, doesn't it? Here in this big JPEG mountain range. Only I wonder who they bury here. The ancient legends, it is stated like seriously, if everyone who comes here is undead, why do they bury anybody? One day an undead shall be chosen. Car. Oh, bird noise. Ignore my feathers clipping. Leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage. So we are a pilgrim. We are the chosen the land undead. Of the ancient lords. What's it called? Lordra. How imaginative. We are the lords of this land. What shall we name it? Our oh, Lordran. Excellent work, Johnson. Excellent work. Give that man a promotion. You know, promoted from Lord to High Lord. 420, Lord. What am I talking about? Okay, so, more feathers. And we are now in Lordran, in the Firelink Shrine. 
in Lordton, you can level up and kindle at bonfires. Yes, you can. That is the closest thing you will get to a tutorial in this game. Kindle, reverse hollowing, level up. Well, let's level up. Let's level up dex and strength for now. Confirm your reinforcement. Now, this dude over here, referred to as Crestfallen Merchant, wow, what do we have here? has a couple things to say. You must be a new arrival. Let must me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Uh, you're not the first, but there's I'm no not. Oh. Here. You'd have done better to rot in the <clears> undead <throat> asylum. But too late now. Uh, Clearly well, it is. Since you're here, let me help you out. There are oh, thank you. actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in Ta -da. the undead church. The what other a revelation. Is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. I bet that place is lovely. And something happened. Brilliant. Something happened. Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So well, is the alternative listening to you belly ache all day? why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> is it that funny? I don't know. What's over here? Humanity. Some humanity. Oh, the huge manity. So humanity in this game, if by chance you've played the others, but not this one. Humanity is stored up in the top left. Two, three, etc. And doesn't affect you immediately, but you can burn it at bonfires to become human. And that's your how you gain access to PvP and invasions and summoning and the like. You have to be human for that to happen. You're dead now, guy. Nice jump, seriously. No, don't slide off, I want your short sword. I guess. Fire mod. Hither! Come! My stab's better than yours. Nerd. Fire bomb. Soul of the Lost Undead. There's a ring over there, isn't there? ta -da! Can that guy hit me from here? I hope not. It sounded like he just dropped down though. So over here you will find a ring of sacrifice, which if you wear will prevent your loss of souls once. And only once. Because this is Dark Souls for God's sake. Not some Namby Pamby game for Namby Pambies. Namby Nimi Miniminis. Huzzah! It seems like I got the better of you this. Okay, that went really well, actually. <laughs> Honestly, I'd expect it to fall off completely. Would have made myself look like a complete wanker. Well done, guy. You tried. Albeit not very hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will just lay here for a while. You, fellow. You also tried, but not very hard. And you're gonna do the... <laughs> Ragdolls in this game are great. <laughs> oh no! Goodbye. Okay. There's an item over here. There's an item everywhere. More souls. Which I will use next time we get to the bonfire, perhaps. Rat! Ah! Most terrible of foes you have invested. This is an aqueduct, I think. I think usually aqueducts were open top though, weren't they? Wasn't that the design in Rome? What did the Romans ever do for us? Aqueducts. They did aqueducts. Welcome to the Undead Burger. I bet nobody's ever made that joke. Nope. Haha! A short sword. And nothing. Is there not in here? I can't remember. Yes, there is. There's also the death of a handful of barrels. Large soul of a lost undead. Drop down here. And... Fight some rotten hollows. A broken straight sword. Amazing. Even better than that. 
Do I go back up this way? No, this bit's fenced off. Come back around here. I don't always come down here, to be honest. Because there's nothing... I don't think there's anything particularly interesting. I think there's a crossbow. It's down here somewhere. But, you know, how useful is a crossbow this early on? Some rubbish. Oh. Ow. Fuck off. Through one and into the other. Yes, I am the king of double pent. No, I'm not finishing that. Um, yeah, I think the crossbow is up here. Oh, there was a little something back there, though. I should go get that. No, this is humanity. Why did I think there's a crossbow? Oh, no, the crossbow is the jump over the ass. Right, I remember. I remember vaguely where the crossbow is at this point. Do I get to that from here? I actually don't remember. Better check, didn't I? Yes, I do, in this hidden little doorway. Somebody seems to be throwing firebombs at me. And this bit's fenced off. For some reason, apparently there's enough room here that you can just fence off entire sections. Although I guess maybe you could argue that you were giving them to these guys, since they seem to be less than friendly. Not 100% sure what to talk about so far, there's very little going on. We're in the undead burg, I guess. Well, you know, I guess I could talk about what this place actually is supposed to be. And it's... As Laudrun goes, Laudrun itself, like the, the better part of Laudrun, the place where the lords actually resided, is a place called Anor Londo, which you may or may not recognise, depending on your familiarity with the games. Um, and Anor Londo is the sort of the seat of the gods, the home of the gods, yada yada. And this place is like the city that's built around the outside of it. Around the entire outside, or just out of a part of it, I can't remember. But anyway, this is this is Anor Londo. No, this is around Anor Londo. And that's a big old Wyvern Drake. Drake, that rapper, I think. Is he a rapper? I don't know. Arrows. Arrows. Poke. Aha, the timing of your attack was such that my poke hit you. Aha. And there's a guy behind here. Hello. Goodbye. Um... Okay, in here there is a wooden shield. Ah, oh, it's worse than my current shield, so I'm not going to use it, but if I didn't have a shield, that's where I would find one. Ha 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 ha. You tried. There's a bonfire, but I'm not going to go to it yet. Namely because I'm not going to rest at it. In Souls 1... Just lighting the bonfire is not good enough. You need to rest at it in order to respawn there. No, S is for you. You may remember that Oscar said it was an undead favourite, and it is. Regular enemies will drink Estus. Spear! The spear! Clean off the ladder! Oh god, he's broken in half. Anyway, um... Aha! You were threatening. And now you're not. Well now, you seem to have your wheel man. You Hello, <laughs> Kenneth Williams. Purchase items. You sell the orange soapstone, which I guess I'll buy. The residence key, which I don't need because I have the master key. The bottomless box for inventory management and the repair box for repairing stuff at bonfires. That's quite useful since degradation happens to everything in this game when you die and when you hit stuff and when stuff hits you, I think. I think when stuff hits you, your armor degrades. That might be a complete wrongness, though. Tell me so in the comments. Uh, repair box. Tool for repairing rooms. Yeah, you. Dinosaur sword. Do you sell a bow? I can't remember. Yeah, you sell the short bow. But ideally, I want the long bow. I am going for a dex build in this game. In this this time round, I am looking at the dex the dex build. Yeah, yes, the the dex build for discerning gents. Who like to use dexterity? No, there's. I just like to use dex builds because they're my go-to and they're what I learned the game with. Uh, bolts and arrows, even. 
chain gear, which just looks like the crestfallen dude. Which, as you may agree with me or not, Thank I think looks kind. garbage. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, weirdo. Uh, he does drop a weapon if you kill him that he does not sell, so I will be killing him later because it's a dex weapon. So my apologies to any major fans of the Merchant Man, the Merchant Ming the Merchantless. Um, I actually can't remember what his name is. I think it's just Merchant. Undead Merchant. You are all dead now. They can actually be quite dangerous if you accidentally wander into that big flailing move they do. That one that scraped me as I stabbed through him. Right. Ah, yes. Right. This is the way to the crossbow. Throwing knives here, and then you must make this jump. Ah! And then up here is... A light crossbow and some bolts. Dry rear. Yep, that's a rear. Well done. Now, I hope you like messages like those, because there's a bunch of them. Uh, which way to the... Dip, dip, dip. Why did I jump there? That was weird. Ah! Huh, I didn't know you could jump that. Learn something new every day, I guess. I'm sure I'll forget it inside the next ten minutes. I should really watch The Lion King at some point. Cue a comment. You haven't watched The Lion King? What are you, some kind of twat? Answer, yes, I guess I am. Right, I'm going to level up with my souls after I use... Actually, they're on my quick bar, aren't they? So I love a lost and dead. Ah. 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 This is riveting, isn't it? <laughs> so I oh, whoops, skipped right ahead. And a large so I love a lost and dead for 400, twice as many as the regular one. Strength of 15, since that's a reasonable starting place. And I'll take my health up once. Boop, 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 boop. So, now we can witness how Dark Souls works by summoning the enemies who you killed. Ah! In case you didn't know how Dark Souls works, this is the deal. You kill the dudes, and then when you die, the dudes come back. Well, you die or you rest at your checkpoint. But whatever. Onward, we'll sprint past here because there's a bunch of dudes with firebombs and they're mean. Two guys with an axe. Axes. Two guys... No, not two guys with an axe. They're not sharing. coming. Ow. 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 Who are you? Where did you come from? Ow. Boy. Ow. Stop that. That was just rude. Who are you? Where did you come from? Did you come up the stairs? Probably. Ah. Oh. Oh. Good job, guy. <laughs> you tried real hard. Aha! So yeah, as you may have realised, this part's actually not all that difficult. If you're just starting in Dark Souls, you might find that this place is more troublesome. Obviously, I have beaten the game, I've beaten the sequels. I've played a reasonable bit of Dark Souls, so I know how the movement and defence and timing generally goes. Sorry, I had a bit of a brain spasm there. Oh, I know how the timing goes. And then I immediately suffer a schmack. Suffering schmuck attack. Aha! You thought you could escape, but you could not. <laughs> Floppy Ragnald. Use the master key. The master key basically lets you get through optional doors. Progression doors, doors that you absolutely must use, have their own chests. Gold pine resin, is that attached to me? Yes, it is. Good, excellent. Hibbity hibbity hip up up. Let's go up here because there's an archer and he would be really annoying if I was going to try going down the stairs while he was alive. You're dead now. Oh, you're blimey. Oh yeah, of course, he saw me from the little step where I got the resin. 
Ah, no. Oh, nice, nice hit there. Just completely whiffed. Shaved his chest here. You are the Buckethead man. Fellow of Buckethead. Alright, so we'll take a swerve down here and encounter our first actually dangerous enemy. These are the Black Knights of Laudron. Or are they the Black Knights of Anolon, though? I guess they're of Laudron because they're all over the place at the moment. Ah! I did essentially no damage, but that's okay. Haha! -ha. Oh, nothing. Ooh. Alright, let's bring him back here so that I don't have to fight him in a narrow corridor. And these guys are found all over the game. They are one time only. If you kill them, they will disappear forever. Rather friendly. Rather considerate, I think. And as you can see right there, that's why circle scraping is so good in Dark Souls 1. Because the majority of enemies do not have the... Well, uh, that worked out really well. Do not have the turning speed to catch up with you. And oh, combo, combo, combo. This is going quite well, actually. <laughs> oh, there we go, fucked it up. And now he's upset. Oh dear. So yeah, Black Knight... They have a different variety of weapons. This guy just has, like, the regular Black Knight straight sword, I think. And obviously, if he starts getting hits in on you, he's dangerous. But for now, he's just this, really. Other ones have different move sets, But they all, they all, I think, I think every single one of them has a shield in their offhand and a main hand weapon. I don't think any of them ever two-hand. Hey, the Black Knight Sword, that's actually a rare drop. But it's not the Black Knight Straight Sword, just the Sword Sword. What's the button for... Yeah, there we go. The little button. That's the sword, yeah, yeah, the long sword. Doom, doom. But the Black Knight Sword might tell me something useful. Great Sword of the Black Knight to Wander Laudron, used to face Chaos Demons. The large emotion that puts the weight of the body into the attack reflects the great size of their adversaries long ago. So basically the deal is that they're black because they're burned. Uh... Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight and ruler of Anor Londo, went to war with the demons, who I will explain the existence of later. And he took his Silver Knights with him, but the Silver Knights became burned by Chaos Fire and turned black. And as a result, gained extra resistance to fire. Black Knight gear tends to be fire resistant. You know, like it's lined with asbestos. Okay, so there is an um, optional mini-boss downstairs who I don't really want to fight because he'll probably kick my ass, but, you know, I I said I'd play this game, I should play it. Fuck you. So these are crystal lizards, they drop upgrade materials. They are, I think, the only place you can get Twinkling Titanite in Dark Souls 1. Possibly. There is, I think, a finite amount in Dark Souls 1. Maybe. In Dark Souls 2, I think you can buy it. Dark Souls 3, you can farm it in certain places, I think. And buy it, still. But in Dark Souls 1, much of your items are finite. Humanity is almost finite. It only drops in rare circumstances. So there's two options here. I guess I can go for the main boss, or I can go for the optional boss. I'll go for the main boss, because that seems like a reasonable stopping point. Assuming I kill him, anyway. If I don't cut to my kill attempt. No, I won't cut out failed attempts. You will see me fail if I fail, and you will see me succeed when I succeed. Unless it's taking like 20 years, which it shouldn't do because I've done enough of it at this point. Another light crossbow. Thanks. You can just stab the air and fail to get drunk. Uh, you know what, I'm probably not going to be able to drink all of my Estus over the course of the fight, so I'll full health up. Holding spacebar allows you to, well, holding the sprint button allows you to drop down the ladders like that, in case you didn't know. And here's the here's the boss, let's get a look at him first. He is the Taurus Demon. Demons, where was that Black Knight? <coughs> Why wasn't he up here doing this? Also, how did this get here? Nice misprint. Oh, I should have used my resin, shouldn't I? That's okay. I've got fire bombs. That's something. Hit the hip. Swing. Ow. Oh, 
fire bomb. So yeah, it's worth remembering that you do pick up those fire bombs. Ow! There's a lot of tracking on that overhead. I think I have enough stamina to block it, I guess. Fire bomb. So this is the sort of the crux of the Dark Souls boss encounter. Wait for them to whiff and then strike. You probably won't have fire bombs all the time, but fire bombs make this guy really a piece of piss. So. Can I hit him from here? Mm, yes, I can. Oh. Almost fucked that up. Wow. Just hit his leg, damn it. Thank you. Okay, so he's dead. Victory achieved. Fog door opens. Uh, humanity and a homeward bone. Homeward bones return you to the last bonfire you rested at. Fun fact. However, since I killed him so trivially, I think I'm gonna go fight the guy downstairs. Just just as another like if I die then, you know, first death of the playthrough in a meaningful place. And if I win, then hey, yippee dee doo, I won. Also, disclaimer, this fight will probably take longer than that because this guy actually has more health. Uh will the lightning affect him? Maybe. It might help a bit. And you know what? I'm not going to use it on anything else. Lightning! Look at that amazing effect. <laughs> so this fellow is Havel the Rock. He is a big scary man with a big old hammer. Oh. So Havel the Rock was originally a friend of Lord Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight. And he really hated a dragon called Seath the Scaleless. Ow! <laughs> also, you shouldn't try and roll back from him. Okay. Well... Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll talk about him a bit more later. For now, though, I think that's a good stopping point. That seems like a reasonable amount of progress. Um, yeah. Tell me how you tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me what you think I could talk more about or less about if I'm talking too much or too little about something. Um, yeah. I don't know. Give me your thoughts. Leave a like, I guess. Maybe. If you want. If you liked it. If you didn't. Dislike and tell me why. See you later.